Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Almost in Banjo Kazooie again. In the last episode, we defeated Wiz Pick at a race, but we did not truly defeat him. We need to, uh, to go do that. And to do that, we're going to use Drumstick. Drumstick has uh, currently the best stats in the game out of any uh, character. He has. Better speed than Crunch, better turning than Crunch, and better acceleration than Crunch. He's basically a better Crunch. And what do winners not use? Crunch. So, what we need to do is figure out what the heck we're gonna be doing here. So to do that, we're gonna be going into, we're gonna be crashing into our good buddy Taj. Switching over to the hovercraft. Going back to the main, uh, the main bit here. We're gonna be heading this way, back towards the, uh, the lighthouse where all this went down. Because we gotta figure out a way to get into space. And how do we do that? Why? It should be obvious. Just crash into the billboard that all the trophies are on. Clever way to show him going into the door, but not actually going into the door. So, you can see there's a TT thing here. Let's collect all the pieces of the TT amulet and 47 balloons. So, we've done all that already. We, this is the reason why we needed the TT amulet to get into here. We're gonna start with, uh, I believe this is what, Spaceport Alpha? Start a Space Dust Alley. Excuse me. But we need eight more balloons in order to get in. And that's exactly what we're gonna get by doing this, by playing as Drumstick. And also, uh, if you haven't noticed, his his vehicle is uh, is uh, red. Red is the fastest color. It's scientifically proven. I'm using that sharp turn mechanic a lot. It's getting a good feel for uh, for everything that's going on here. We got this guy right here. As long as you fly in between the lasers, you're fine. That's the best way to get around that guy. This open area here is kind of what makes the silver coin challenge a little bit of a nightmare. So, uh, hey, hey, we'll see how that goes. And the man makes a lot of, of clucking noises. I got, I can't, I, it hasn't even been that long since I recorded the last three episodes. So I'm, I'm kind of in a in a strange position here. Again, this is another one of those stages where I feel like if I were to do multiplayer on this game, I would want to uh, I would want to my brain is breaking. I'd want to do it in vehicles that you normally wouldn't be in on here. Like this this map seems very viable in order to use a, a cars on. And for some reason, there's still p uh, pine trees up here. But yeah, so apparently this entire area is like Whizpig's domain, whereas like the areas that we were in before were like the 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 island's pride and joy as the story went with it. Uh, I am killing the the CPU hardcore in this, and uh, Drumstick has the whoa! Drumstick has the weirdest voice lines of any character in this game. So. We'll have to, we're really gonna, we're really gonna have to see like like how long it's gonna take me to actually beat the rest of this game, because after I beat the game, the rest of this is gonna be dedicated to. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple episodes, all post commentary, of um, all post commentary of uh, of doing the uh, the time trials for TT, which is gonna be a nightmare. And then, uh, once I unlock TT, then I'm gonna be doing, um, Adventure 2, just to show off, uh, just to show off what's different mainly, and also, uh, the positions of the silver coins change in Adventure 2. So, we're gonna be showing that off a little bit. I'm staring at a dog who's currently playing with a, a rope that's, uh, that's, that smells like beef. Let's head to the Dark Moon Caverns. 
This is a, uh... This is probably one of my least favorite levels. Probably for... From a nostalgia point of view, this is one of my least favorite levels. Hey, we finally get to hear the credits song in an actual track! Yeah, so you got these obstacles here. I don't know if it's better to take the, uh, the inside corner there or to take the part with the boost. Glad that like the CPU is terrible for this. Generally, like the first round of going through this is just to kind of learn the, the layout of the track. So that way you can come back be, uh, better than before with the silver coin challenge. There we go. That's what I wanted. I want the the far away camera to me is is very helpful because it kind of gives you like a broader picture of the things that are like to the side of you. Yeah, I'm already having much better luck with uh, with drumstick than I have been with crunch. Take the outside this time and see if that's faster. Mm. I'm gonna let go of that accelerator before uh before hitting the boosts. Can that hurt you? I don't think it can. Unless you're oh it, that you know, nope that could definitely hurt you. I want to see what happened to Bumper. I just looked at the map and I saw that Bumper is like really far back there. Man, I wish this game had a replay function. Hi, dog. Please don't chew any on the wi on any of the wires. All right, you just laying. Oh, you're just laying at my feet, buddy. Oh, you're a good boy. He's a. Uh, he gets very chewy. That's the only way I know how to describe it. Teethy. He gets very bitey with me. Um, it's mostly. I'm pretty sure it's mostly because he's bored. Um, but there isn't. Oh, am I gonna? Oh man, am I gonna lose this now? After all that, am I gonna lose? But no, um, he's getting like kind of bitey, uh, and the reason I think that is, don't get, don't get, yeah, I think the reason for that is, is because I can't do much uh, with him like out, uh, out in like the world, with like people and other dogs until he's had his next round of vaccinations. Which at the time of recording, this is going to be next Friday, uh, April 9th. I actually think that, that I don't think it'll even be happening by the time this episode comes out. Actually, it might be happening on the on this episode. Anyway, we beat Dark Moon Caverns, and, you know, once I get those vaccinations for him, I'm going to be taking him everywhere. He won't even know. Spaceport Alpha. Spaceport Alpha. Go. Nope, didn't get the good boost. There's a vent there that automatically shoots your uh, your car down. Oh, I remember this level. Yeah, this level has one of the worst things uh, in it. Where if you fly too high, the wall shoots lasers at you, and if you get hit, well, <laughs> you don't want to get hit. Might as well use this. Just traversing through Spaceport Alpha. This level I like. I like it better than, uh, than, uh... I like it better than Dark Moon Caverns. Oh, I wanted to get the... Oh, well. Wait, it's very important to use the R button in a lot of the, uh, a lot of these areas, because otherwise you're not going to be doing great. I think it, the only reason I managed to beat this level when I was a kid was because... Uh, was just like pure grit and determination. I didn't think to not go higher, or to, I didn't think to stay lower when I was a kid. Those lasers will mess you up. This that that was a. I forgot he had. A, I forgot that horns exist in this game. He's got the very stereotypical Awuga. I think he shares a horn with Diddy. I always thought that banjo sounded like an old school cell phone. Like, not like a smartphone, but like a cellular telephone. Using, uh, using the, the, uh, drift and break method is also really good in this level. So you gotta make sh them sharp turns, hold down B, but not for too long, because you'll lose too much speed that way. I did a lot better in this level than I did in, uh, in, uh, Dark Moon Caverns. I 
again, Dark Moon Caverns is, a, is an, uh, one of my favorite levels. And I, I, again, I think I'm staying there from a nostalgia point. Although I did almost lose that one, so, you know, you never know. I'm going to go to Star City. I li this is a level I really like. I, I, th like, aesthetically, this is a really nice level. And you know what? Uh, Neo Bowser City uh, makes me think of this level. But I like, yeah, this I like this level aesthetically. However, that's a little bit of an issue. If I can get the t the other uh, boost, I'm, I'm gonna go for him. Actually, I think I'm probably gonna stay away from the the outside corner ones. Wow, that was a really clean lap. I remember having a lot of trouble with this level as a kid. Although, I mean, like, there's the trouble right there just for me, like, not being able to control the, the character well. But, like... One thing I... Oh, no! Where does that put me? Do I gotta drive all the way back? I think I do! Oh, boy. Alright, well, time to try and catch up. Ugh. Which is not gonna come from me missing all those. You know, I just complimented the clean lap I had before, and then suddenly Hubris comes and hits you in the face. Fortunately, I've got the highest top speed out of any character that's currently available right now, so... I think getting back up to first... Oh! I think getting back up to first just might be a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. Catch up the bumper on the, uh, on the, the straightaways. Yeah, it would have been better if I'd taken the boost. Shoot! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, there's number two. Where's Tip Tup? I don't see Tip Tup. There he is. I gotta hit. Oh! 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 Hmm. Wow. Alright. Austin, let's fast forward to a successful run of this, then. Man! Can't believe I fell off there. Falling off of there is a death sentence, but I almost brought it back. Alright, let's try again. I finally got it. I figured out the strat. Don't let go of the accelerator when you're going over the zipper, and then you won't careen out of control. You won't careen Abdul-Jabbar out of control. That'd be a- that'd be a good name for a racing game, uh, that's sponsored by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Anyway, I almost lapped everybody because I finally managed to get good at this level, so... Hopefully, that'll be what I need to do in the time trial! But just for beating the game in ge uh, the level in general, all you gotta do is that! Alright, now we're gonna go face Wizpig. Oh, uh, we're not gonna face Wizpig. It just dumps you right back into the lobby to do the Silver Coin Challenge, which... What we're gonna do. And let's see how many tries it's gonna take me to get all these coins. If I'm not mistaken, some of them in this level are pretty well hidden. You gotta you gotta keep a sharp eye out for them. If you hit the electricity, you go you go careening down. This one you gotta get, you have to, you, unless you're like, you're, you're really ballsy, you gotta get on two laps. And this one, I think you gotta go for two laps on, for this area as well. But well, that's, I got one. And now I'm just trying to keep my eye open for any others that I might miss. Alright, I'm only missing two, and I think I have to take the other path on, uh... Yeah, because we saw one that we missed. Now, I think I gotta take the other path on, uh, on that split road there in order to get the other one. But, we shall see. I gotta go over this way. Risking getting hit by a tree. Alright, let me follow this way up. <gasps> there it is! Missed it! Alright, we, we got the last lap to go for it, though. This music? Uh... 
like rare rare seem to have like a very like uh seem to be very like um what is it called like attracted to certain uh instruments in uh in in their n64 games because i noticed i gotta sneeze i noticed that they uh that they tend to like like there's like a part in this song where there's like a where there's like a sort of like a gregorian chorus singing and my first thought went to Perfect Dark. Got it! And I also got zapped, but that's fine. I'm gonna leave a gas cloud in my wakes, so that way whoever flies into that gets gets choked. I managed to do this one with quite a bit of uh, of headway here. Oh, and that's why I was we run to those asteroids. They don't hurt you, they just kinda like stop you. Alright. First level down, no big issues. Doing pretty well. Level up, Dark Moon Caverns. The one, the level that I said I didn't like. I also don't like it aesthetically either. Am I saying that you? Am I saying that you as a as a player shouldn't like this? No, it's it's your it it's you know it's your opinions based on. Oh, well, I missed one coin, but I know where it is. Won't make the same mistake again. Okay, good. I gotta be, I gotta be real careful here. I'm pretty sure there's one that's like right around the corner. I'm pretty sure I missed it already. I know I missed one so far. But there's, I'm pretty sure there's like one in a cave that's like right around a corner. I also want to say there's one like right off the edge of this as well. No. I hear a uh, a bored puppy wandering around my office. Usually, what? Oh, I'm not missing you again. All right, now I get the opportunity to, as the CPU said, go for it. Whoa! Fortunately, like I hear the uh, the 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 echo of the the. Horrible that's behind me, the uh, the the shield. But it don't it don't hurt. It don't hurt unless they have the upgraded one. Also, I'm not sure what the deal is with the boost on uh on this portion of the track of the loops. Cause uh I'm pretty sure I just saw him do a nosedive. Uh-oh. Might have to pause the episode here in just a moment because Dog is looking at me and sitting next to the door. But so far, I've been pretty lucky with all this. And well, I mean, like, my hope is that, like, once, once, uh, my hope is that, like, once he gets to a, um, once I'm able to get his vaccines. Uh, then I'll be able to like take him places to really like burn out his energy and then he'll just kind of be like, you know He'll get the exercise that he needs. And he'll be docile when I'm trying to work But right now he's just like He likes to explore. He likes to sniff. He likes to chew And I'm hoping as he grows older he'll grow out of those. I'm hoping that like his chewing is more based on teething than boredom. Alright, puppy emergency taken care of. You had to go to the bathroom, get a little bit to drink, and have some food. It is very late at night, but there's, there was some, uh, there was some uh, uh, food left in his bowl, so he was eating that. Silver coin challenge for Spaceport Alpha. One thing I really wish they did was show where the coins were on this preview screen, because that'd be really nice, but again, blockbuster money. That's just, that's my excuse for all of it. A little bit early. I remember some of these being tough. Also, a lot of them are like on the outsides of the course. Are there really none in there? Hmm. There's one in the center here. There's some interesting placements for them around here, I think. I feel like, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm remembering these completely wrong. Okay, there's one there. I'm missing two. 
something here. It could very well just be that I remembered this wrong and I'm about to get the last one on this last corner here. Nope, there is one missing and I don't know where it is. And somehow Tip Top is always in the lead at these junctures. Do you notice that in these? All right, hold on, I gotta... A pro, oh uh, no. You don't understand, it's Tip Top! I think I gotta take this time to look for where that last coin is, because I don't see it. I think it might actually be in the trench. In the, the very Star Wars-esque trench. There it is, I found it! Oh, I'm not catching up to Tip Top now, there's just, there's no way. Okay, you know what? Let's restart because I at least know where they are now. I was missing one. I think, I'm I, think I got it. Oh my god. Not the greatest way to start. Alright. Grabbing the coins. Gonna grab balloons, yeah. Shoot my missile and miss everybody I shot at. Damn, I wanted to shoot the peeps. Oh my god, tip top is really far ahead again. Why does he always have to get ahead of me? I don't know why, I don't understand. I got to grab that coin! Mr. Coin. I missed a coin. I missed two coins. I missed a couple of coins right there. Got to grab them so I can beat this turtle. Beat this turtle. Hey, I hit him! How is he so much faster than me? Hey, it's tipped up. All right, I know which ones I'm missing. The one here, I gotta be careful for the lasers. There we go! Okay, and then the last one is... Up here! Oh my god, I gotta grab it on the last lap. Which is always a precarious situation, because you think to yourself, I'm in first, no pressure, right? There is all the pressure! Because remember, the game doesn't count you as winning unless you get all the coins as well. Ooh, that might have been a... Bad idea. I'm thinking what I might do. Oh my god, they're gaining on me pretty quickly here. I'm thinking what I might do. Okay. Grab that. Grab this. Come at it from around the outside. No! Oh my god! Austin, please just. We'll just show it in a successful run. <laughs> I'm an absolute moron, because there was a way I could have done this with less headache. Because, like, I already have all the coins, but I could have just used a shield. And that would have made things so much easier, gotten rid of so much of the headache. If I had just used a shield, if I had only, only used a shield. Oh, well, at least we got it. Spaceport Alpha is done. All right. And then, our final level, our final normal level is Star City. This one, as I recall, I think I'm remembering a lot of these from, uh, from the Sil- uh, from, uh, Adventure 2. Whoops! I'm a little concerned, there's the first one. I think it was actually this level that I that I remember the uh Oh. Again, they try to put them precariously out of the way so you don't quite see them. Or they're like just out of your reach. I'm sorry, they're out of reach of like good things, is what I should be saying. Uh-oh! Well, I almost have them all. I am one silver coin away, and I'm pretty sure the last one's in this tunnel. There it is! All right, so unlike the last time, now that I've had the chance to play the level, I've been able to learn. I don't believe it, guys. I've learned exactly what I need to do. And that is to not let go of A on that one, pass all of my enemies, betray all my friends, kill Tip Tup, never trust Tip Tup and winners don't use crunch, 
what I've been trying to teach you guys this whole time. Well, they, they, I'm trying to think, like, going back to the thing I was talking about with the song, they also use that, that sort of, like, Gregorian choir in, um, in, uh... I might be misinterpreting what Gregorian is, but, like, they, they use that same choir in, um, in... Uh... Banjo-Kazooie. Or other banjo too. I remember it from uh from uh Mayahem Temple, I think it's called. You gotta be careful with your with your boosts. If you use too big of a boost, you don't get the you don't you jump over the boost. You jump over the other boost. The zipper, as it's called. Zipper T Rabbit. Bunny Day is over. Bunny Day is over. Bunny Day is over. I don't know when this when Easter is this year. I think by the time Easter happens, this uh, this video will be out. Or by the time this video is out, Easter would have already happened. Either way, 